we need to have a talk. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I'm not sure what topics I'm going to cover. I'm not even sure if I'm going to put a gameplay or anything on it. But the point is, I need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys. Whoever's watching this video, I want you to take this like this is me talking to you. That is what this is. It's, you know, if I watch it, it's going to be like me talking to myself. We, let's, let's start off on the note of everybody makes mistakes, okay? And this video is meant to be serious, unlike my other videos where, you know, I say stuff that I don't mean and I say some crude humor or, you know, I, I say things that people sometimes find serious that I don't mean in any sort of serious manner. Everything that I say is sarcastic. I don't mean anything offensive in a serious matter. I want you guys to come to my channel and be able to laugh and have a good time, but at the same time, we need to be able to touch down to business. Everybody makes mistakes, whether it's a huge mistake, whether it's a small mistake, whether it's just a mistake that's so small and, and you turn it into something big. Nothing is ever too out of place to fix. I want you guys to remember that. And it doesn't matter how much you fucked up. It doesn't matter how much or how bad the situation is. You can fix pretty much anything. When you feel stressed out, when you feel like there is nowhere to go, there's nothing to do, like... You're so locked in on the moment, that's what people do, is we trap ourselves in these moments. We think that our past is going to influence our future, that the past is the future. We think the past is the present. Some people have a hard time coping with things. You know, I'm, I'm sort of one of those people, but I've, I've been getting past that lately. What you do today defines what your future is going to be like. The steps that you take today are going to influence what happens tomorrow. What happened yesterday already happened. You can't change it, and it doesn't mean that what happened three years ago is going to be what influences what happens 20 years down the road, you know? Because you feel like nobody cares about you. If you feel like nobody cares about you, you've been given such negative and shitty cards in life that your life is just going to be completely fucked up, you, you can't think of it like that. You have to think of it like you can go to school and you can get an education. You can follow your dreams even if people tell you you can't do that. You, it is your job. People ask me all the time, what's the point? What's the point in living? Your purpose, your sole purpose is to pass on your knowledge and what you learned through all of the bullshit to whoever's next in line. Whether that's your daughter, whether that's your son, you need to find who's next in line that is close to you. Whether that be somebody that you're, you're close with in a relationship or your family and you need to pass something on to them. We are are an entire generation, a civilization that's based on fuck-ups. It's just history. Humans, we are based around a cycle of continually fucking up and making mistakes. That is life. You can't live in those mistakes, and you can't let them win. When you make a mistake, what do, you, what do most people do? Either give up, you say, oh, fuck it. Sometimes the easiest thing that you can do when you make a mistake is to just drop it. Sometimes we're so consumed in the negativity that we're drawn to it. And, and we think of it like we can't fix anything. Nothing is fixable. We let our negative emotions overcome us even when faced with a positive outlook or a positive decision. We, we throw it all away. You know, I did it. I made mistakes. I can't say I'm proud of them. You know, I can't say if going back in time, I'd, cho I'd choose to change them. You know, I, I made my mistakes. I made my choices. I chose the hard path. People give me shit all the time. Now what do I have to look at? People, people ask me all the time, how's school going, you know? How do you think it feels to tell other people that you want to invest all your time in writing a book and making YouTube videos to make other people laugh, you know? People don't understand that. It's like being a rapper. Nobody thinks you can make it. Everybody doesn't tell you you're full of shit. And you know what drives those people is that some of the most pained people turn pain into fame. Growing up, I didn't have many friends. And when I did, I had to move. When my life I thought was completely stable, it was unstable. I moved in with my dad, you know? And I lost friends along the way, going from school to school, trying to learn who I am, making my mistakes, trying to be somebody else. I got kicked out of school, you know? My journey, everything that I've wanted to do, the messages that I've wanted to send, it's all been surrounding this sort of fact that I... I was neglected, I guess. I didn't have friends. I wasn't the kid that fit in, you know? I wasn't the most buff guy. 
I'm not saying this. This is not a feel sorry for me video, okay? I know a lot of people go through the same shit. We all have our own problems, our own differences. We all make our mistakes. Imagine getting into a fight with somebody. You always think that we gotta put the blame on the other person, and if that person's wrong, then you leave it. It's a bigger mistake. You could fight with somebody for hours, but what's the point? What's the point in fighting with people? Everybody always says you gotta fight for what matters. We don't have to fight at all. That's not... You, you don't have to fight with anybody. That's the whole point, is you don't have to fight. It's as easy as just forgiving one another. Say, you know what, I fucked up. Everybody fucks up. That's not who I am. Sometimes we do things that will trigger other things. Everything that we do has a chain reaction. Things that we do can unintentionally hurt the people around us. I'm gonna touch a, a very touchy topic, very iffy topic, just briefly. Suicide. A lot of people say, who cares? Let's say your mom is a, a drunk. Let's say your dad has mental issues or uses you for money or, or neglects you or beats you. If you decided right there that you, you ended your life, that is such a powerful thing to do. Your friends, your family's family, everybody, even the crazy people would probably get through their head and they go, wow, I influenced somebody to end their own life. There was a time where I, I contemplated suicide. I'm not gonna lie. And I really had to think about it. I had it planned out and I almost did it. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into details because nobody needs to know. My family shouldn't even watch this video and if they do, they didn't need to know that. But there have been a lot of problems in my life. I don't let them define me. Along the way, as we get used to these problems, we get more and more pain. We become fixated on a way to look for fake to fix ourselves. Whether that's alcohol, drugs, money, love. You know what the best out of all that is? Is love. And everybody looks for it. Everybody tries to find it. Doesn't work on the first try. And you know what? You, you could fall in love with somebody and they can say that they love you back, but it doesn't mean that they're always gonna mean it. And that's, that's the really hard part about life and learning lessons and being around other people. You can't depend on things to fix you. I depended on this, everything. You know, my, you know what my drug was? You know what my alcohol was that's caused me problems? Is attention. I've become so fixated on, on this goal. I don't want that. I don't want attention to fix things. I have been building and trying to surround myself with fame to get rid of all this pain that I have. I sit in here every day alone. The only friend I have in person is the one that I've known my entire life. And I don't, I don't keep touch with him on a very personal basis on my issues anymore. And I, I wish I did. There's a difference between love and lust. You lust, you look at the surface of somebody and you fall in love with their appearance. Whether it's their eyes or their smile gets you every time. It's normal. It's human nature. You know, that's what we were built to do is reproduce. But we're more than that. We have minds of our own to decide how we want to do things, how we want to go about things. We make the decisions ultimately in our life of what we do, whether you apply yourself to something or not, whether you dedicate yourself to somebody, whether you mean what you say or not. Nobody thinks about that. There's a lot of things that go into love and or mistakes and what define us as a person. If you were addicted to drugs for years, you might think there's no way out of it. It's harder for some people to make mistakes. It's harder for them to fix it. We're not all the same. And then the people who do change, try to help the ones that think they can't because you were in the same footsteps. If you were in the same spot and your changed self went back to tell you that you could do it, you'd probably tell yourself you couldn't. We live in these moments, whether they're good or bad. And that's what keeps us in the past is we don't worry about what's truly going on around us. I fought with my dad. You know, I fought with him for years. You know what I would give? To just give him a hug, a big hug, and drive around like we used to. Maybe go to 7-Eleven, get something to drink. Fuck, I'd, I'd give the world for that. 
I'd give the world to smile and laugh with my dad and tell jokes and listen to music and go to the mall again and get clothes with him? Does it mean I would make different decisions on how I want to live my life? No. It means that I want him to accept me for who I am. I accept him for who he is. Him and, him and I both made mistakes. That's what you have to realize is that everybody makes mistakes. Everybody hurts each other. We all do. It's life. It's what happens. And sometimes when we hurt each other, we don't fix it. You might be thinking, I, I try my best to fix it. Nothing goes my way. Not everything is in your hands. You can't decide for the other person. Sometimes you can't always persuade them what matters. Sometimes you can't always be there for that person. Sometimes you got to think of it like me. My dad lives <laughs> decent ways away from me. What am I going to do? Walk in the other room, give him a hug and tell him I'm sorry. He's not right there. I'd have to throw him a message. And chances are, he might not even want to respond to me. You might think that you fell in love with somebody. And you might message them and apologize to them for whatever you did wrong. And know your part and your flaws. But it doesn't mean that they'll forgive you. And that's not your fault. You have to be able to forgive yourself. I deleted my Instagram. And I don't know if I'm going to reactivate it. I don't know what I'm going to do with Twitter necessarily, but I, I have a grander vision for things. There's a lot more going on than just COD videos and YouTube. I have a grander vision of things that I want to do, and I, I can't talk about that yet. All I can really say right now is I'm, I'm working on getting a project done. And everything that I have to say, hopefully, in this project and as I build it, can make a difference in some way. I just want to help you guys. I'm not perfect. I have people who hate me. People who say I'm fake. People who say I'm a joke. I don't worry about it anymore. People say Ninxie's a bitch, Ninxie's a faggot, Ninxie's this, Ninxie's that. Over time, you, you build up a wall and you come to realize that it doesn't matter what other people think of you. It doesn't matter if I go out there and people look at me and judge me for the numbers I got on a test. For the amount of education that I got over the school years to judge how smart I am. Doesn't matter how much money I'm gonna make. That's not who I am. It doesn't matter if I make a post that offends somebody. Doesn't matter if I argue with my mom one night, we get a huge fight. What matters is that you do the best with what you have and you can admit your mistakes. You can apologize to other people. You can remind them that you appreciate them. I just, I want you guys to know that if you're ever feeling pained or troubled, you don't need to attack yourself and your self-worth and feel like you're nothing. I'm not saying that tomorrow, if you made a mistake today, it's going to feel any better. I'm not going to say that you'll be able to sleep well at night for the next week. You might wake up and it might feel like a shitty dream. Next month, it might hurt worse. Things take time. It's not immediate. Nothing is immediate. Love isn't immediate. Getting over pain isn't immediate. Success isn't immediate. Failing is the only thing that's immediate if you don't try. I just want you guys to know that. I, I felt like I needed to have a talk with you guys about that because it's not only to you guys, but I needed it for myself. Because the first person that I ever fell in love with told me, you can't fix everybody else if you can't fix yourself. I love you guys. I'm sorry it wasn't a normal video. I'm sorry it wasn't the Q&A. If you've been concerned, I'm sorry that I didn't reply. It's been a rough weekend. I've had a lot on my mind. And um, I just, I, I don't really know what to do with myself right now. I'll have a new video, be a funny video, so we can get back into the positive vibe of things. I'll have that soon. I'm not sure when. Thank you guys all for 700 subs. You just have no idea how much that means to me. I never thought I could even make it here as quick as I did. Love you guys. I'm out.